Welcome to our review on halogen displacement reactions. So quick recap for us first of all, when we're talking about a halide, that's the compound of a halogen and one other element, which is usually a metal or hydrogen. Now, the next thing we need to know is what we're talking about when we refer to a displacement reaction. And quite simply, in a displacement reaction, a more reactive halogen will displace a less reactive halogen from the halide. Now you can think of this in terms of my amazing little drawing skills there. We start off with chlorine, which as we know is up near the top of group 7, so it's quite reactive. And we've got a halide there of sodium bromide. Bromine further down, so not as reactive as chlorine. So when they react together, chlorine is more reactive than bromine. Therefore, it's going to take its place with the sodium. So what we end up doing on the other side is we've got chlorine joined with sodium to make sodium chloride and we've got our bromine on its own. Make sure that you can also write the balanced symbol equation for this, which I've given you at the bottom there. We start off with our chlorine Cl2. We then react that with our sodium bromide in this case, NaBr, and we then make NaCl sodium chloride and bromine Br2. Don't forget that all important thing to make sure that we do have the little subscript 2 on any halogen on its own. And that means that your balancing should always work out. If you forget that little subscript 2, balancing is never going to work. So in class, you should have done this little reaction where you've got your spotting tile and in there you've got a solution of sodium chloride, one of sodium bromide and another of potassium iodide. So you've got those three little spots in your spotting tile with each of those solutions in there. Then we add some chlorine water to one row, bromine water to another, and the iodine solution to the last row. What we're looking for in this is some kind of a change in colour that tells us we've seen a displacement reaction. Now, what they could ask you to do on the exam is to predict what you'd see. And all we need to do there is apply our knowledge that the more reactive halogen will take the place of the less reactive one. So if we've got chlorine reacting with anything beneath it, then that means we will see a reaction. So those ones, we will see a color change, as you can see with the fact that we've got a little tick with our sodium bromide and our sodium iodide. Bromine will only react with the sodium iodide because the chloride is obviously more reactive than it, so it can't take the place. And then because iodine is the least reactive of our three, we see no reaction with any of those chemicals.